So I'm starting this out, experiment out with 400 milliliters of distilled water. We're gonna go ahead and add some sulfuric acid. All right, here goes the sulfuric. There's 100 milliliters. And let's break out our potassium nitrate again. Just go with one scoop. There we go. Looks like we got pretty good reaction right off the bat. Uh, actually, before we turn the heat on, let's take a peek at that. I think what I'm going to do is put uh, two scoops in right off the bat. Oh yeah, look at that. Hold on. Let me get you spun around here. Creating a nice reaction right off the bat. We got plenty of fumes. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the fume hood here. There we go. get a lid on that we can retain those uh, fumes those will condense on the top drip back in as nitric acid all right well cool that works pretty good well uh, let's let that do its thing here and um, I guess what we'll do is if we need to add a little more sulfuric we'll put more sulfuric in or if we need to put more uh, potassium nitrate we can go ahead and put that in there we'll uh, I guess kind of see as as we go all right so our solution has died down just a little bit um, I think what I'm gonna do first before we start putting sulfuric in is I'm just gonna try and add a tablespoon of our potassium nitrate and see if that's good Definitely not the same exact reaction we had off the bat, but it still looks like uh, it's working. Oh yeah. Okay, well let's do one more of those. All right, so we didn't add any any sulfuric. We just did two more tablespoons of the potassium nitrate. Uh, five pound bag. It was actually really cheap. Let's say like eighteen bucks or something. All right, looks like we got reaction back going. Let's get a close up for you. Got the bubbles going back. Oh, well, let's let it eat. Just like that, we're dissolving away. All right. Well, I'd have to say that this batch is definitely done, and our solution looks really saturated. So let's go ahead and pour this off, see what we got, and uh, get an idea of how much material this is going to take. by the looks of it, quite a bit. All right, let's go down for a close up here. All right, looks like we've got quite a bit more material we have to remove. Uh, let's see, looks like some of the silver is getting touched. But yeah, we definitely have a long ways to go. All right, well, let's try and make that concoction again. All right. 
400 mils still water running running out of sulfuric we may have to get a little bit more all right 100 mils and potassium nitrate One. Two. All right, well, we'll let that go. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, look at that. Reaction hats is almost immediate. I think what I'm gonna do this next go around is continue putting potassium nitrate in. I feel like we could probably shove a little bit more in there. That seems, I mean, that looks pretty saturated. There's no question about that. But who knows? See how much uh, metals we can shove in that solution, right? I mean, it's only uh, less material to deal with than a uh, little cost saving, right? All right, we are back. Now, so this is the next day. Um, I have ran quite a bit of this solution so far. So let's see here. Not not a ton, but so we're roughly like 1500. Now I want to see how much material we've actually removed. And I know the scale kind of stinks for you guys, but I can read it. And uh, I'll tell you what we got. I'll get a new one here sooner rather than later. I promise. All right, so this is just gonna give us an idea of the material we used versus how much material we've dissolved. As long as I don't lose anything. All right, so we still have some crystals in the bottom. Not the end of the world. All right, so we're at 168 grams of material. So we've actually removed quite a bit. We've done a pretty good job. So I, I'm i not sure if I want to continue on this. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll post a video. We'll do a two-part series. I'll post this video. You guys can tell me if you'd like to see me continue this uh, with this method. So the only reason why I bring that up is uh, as soon as we introduce the sulfuric acid, we have to deal with, here, let me get this stuff out of the way. We have to deal with our crystals, right? So this is copper sulfate. Uh, for the most part, there are some impurities in there. We can see the, hold on, let me, uh, let me take my glove off quick so I can zoom in my phone. All right. So you can see like there, we have some impurities. This isn't pure copper sulfate. Um, I imagine there's a way I can purify this, which I'll have to look into, but we have silver on the bottom, that gray material there. So that being said, We're basically gonna have to process this again, which isn't the end of the world. It's just adding more distilled water. Um, and then evaporate it again, once we've got the silver out of there, so that we can get back to copper sulfate crystals. But this is also our solution we've been dealing with. And you can see all of those. So we have tons of crystals to go through to I mean these these are usable right they're, they're not junk or anything like that by any means but it's just extra work we gotta pure um, you know purify those 
and there could also be a little bit of silver in there so not necessarily in the um, crystals but this solution hasn't been filtered out so maybe I'm doing it wrong maybe I have to we'll, we'll, we'll take another whack at this with the rest of the material we got and what I'll do is before dumping it in here I'll run it through a filter so I'll pour out the solution run it directly into the filter and then go ahead and put it in our uh, our holding tank because if I continue doing what I'm doing I'm gonna have a mess to clean up with right I'm gonna have a huge mess with all of these all this copper crystals because we we still have to get the silver out of our solution yet if it's dissolved any yet there's a lot of cemented copper I see so I imagine there's a lot of cemented silver already which was probably in that powdered form uh, that kind of trickled out the bottom but it also looked like zinc crystals or is it silver sulfate I don't know we have a bunch of of testing to do so I'm not sure if I went at this the right way um, let me know maybe uh, improvements on how to do it better for uh, the next video but I think I'm gonna put it on pause because right here I'm just creating a big old mess all right so doing a little homework doing a little homework um, I don't think I should have any copper sulfate crystals at all with this reaction so where i think i went wrong was putting the sulfuric acid in and then filling with more potassium nitrate so the byproduct of this should be um potassium bisulfate that's what that's basically what we're making so if we have copper sulfate crystals left over that means we had sulfuric acid left over to absorb the copper as copper sulfate and then of course when the solution cooled we got copper sulfate crystals so next go around next go around what we're going to do is we're going to add a very little amount of sulfuric acid and then when the potassium nitrate doesn't create nitric anymore we know we need to add a little bit more sulfuric so i think that's the way we're going to go. And it would probably be a really good idea for me to keep track, right? So got to get a little scientific here. Got to get a little scientific. <laughs> Break out the notepad, take some notes, right? So I'm thinking we're going to have to save, basically do an initial test run with a low number. And then we should be able to multiply that number up right not necessarily for like per batch per milligram just because you know this is just such a mixed batch of contacts with brass and copper and we don't know exactly with the brass content and we don't know exactly with the copper content and the same thing goes for the silver so it would be basically it'd be very hard to get a, a, a number for that but what we could come up with is the ratio to get our nitric without any copper sulfate so I think that would be vital. So that is what we're going to do on the next video. But I got to clean these copper crystals up because they're going to eat all my jars up, my beakers. I don't want to be able to do anything. So I got to clean all that up. We'll get the silver. So we'll do a little test, see how bad that is. It's not too bad already. I can tell you that. I've started it. Still got to finish it, but I started it. <laughs> all right. Well, Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.